Hi everyone, in this video we will display dynamically JSON data. Okay, we will fetch the data and we will display that dynamically. So first of all, I have written the data manually in this file. I will fetch from this file. So you can call an API or fetch from database. Okay, I have written manually. So first of all, I will just create a table. So now I will pitch the header and also the body, the data, both dynamically, okay? So I will come to the JavaScript and I will write the script tag and the script tag I will use mm, to pitch first of all the head, okay? The, oh sorry, it is, uh, let's move it, right. yeah, so first of all the head. Uh, the uh, table header okay i will uh, fetch those records so let's come here just uh, we will write uh, i will get a function i will write a function function get a th okay th so first of all i will take the columns to take the columns i will first i will import this file data table and here that slash data table dot js so now first we will get the columns from the data const columns is equal to uh, object dot keys from uh, this table okay this data data dot data the zero from zero root get the columns after that i will get the element t head const head is equal to uh, document dot query selector t head now let's declare our variable tags is equal to first we will declare a row table row and after that uh, we should use uh, our for loop or just simply we can write okay uh, let's use for loop for i is equal to zero i must be less than uh, columns this should be column dot length i plus plus and now let's write uh, tags plus equal to we will write something like this uh, table head and close this now we will write column column zero the column the i for zero two and three indexes after that let's close the table head close this and here we will tags plus equal to close the row table row uh, sorry this is of this okay uh, we wrote this so now head head dot inner html is equal to tags we wrote this so now let's call this function get th let's uh, refresh it and see yeah we have this id name email so let's assign a class name to this table class name table bootstrap table see it it looks like this so now we, we will pitch the data also so just uh, come here after this we will call get a td this function we will create this function function get td and here we will fetch the data from tables so first i will use query selector to get the tbody cons body is equal to document dot query selector tbody and after that i will declare a variable by the name of tags is equal to and now i will use the map function okay i will use data dot map 
and data here let's write the tags plus uh, is equal to let's write first of all a uh, table row after that uh, we will write td and we will get the id uh, d dot id and we will close this td same to this i will write by name dot name and also email let's close the table row let's close this after this let's uh, uh, assign to body body dot inner email is equal to tags and it's okay yeah let's refresh it yeah we have this data see it we have fixed all those 10 records these 10 records okay these 10 records so it was all about uh, fetching dynamically json data in javascript so if you have liked this video please subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching